everybody and uh, look what's come today um, uh, this is Thursday this box has come but I'm not going to be releasing this till the weekend because you've seen more than enough of me recently so I hope you don't think it's too late but I thought oh look there's a bit of straw escaping <laughs> so my think pink sew scription box from beyond the pink door in Ireland I always find that really hard to say um, so yeah, let's open it up and see what's inside. Now I am opening this one with a tinge of guilt because I haven't made anything with the last two fabrics I've got. Uh, one was that green sparkly fabric, which I was actually gonna keep, I think, till Christmas, because I think it's a nice Christmassy fabric because I didn't have time to make anything for St. Patrick's Day. And the fabric before was a light viscose, which I think is more of a summery fabric and we're still nowhere near summer. I have come down the bottom of the garden though to the room, just a bit of change of scene. Here we go. This is Sewscription Box number 14. This month's box, sorry, you'll know why I'm hesitating when I read this. This month's box contained two and a half meters embroidery, embroidered double gauze. I've had fun with double gauze in the past. I have made things from it, but I do find it a challenge. So let's have a look, I'm sure it's beautiful. The funny thing is the embroidered gall, um, double gauze top I did make, I wear all the time. So it shows I like it. Right, which came first? Nice little spring sticker with daffodils on it. This yellowy spring. As I always do, I'm just gonna go straight to the fabric and oh, look at this. Look at that. It's like, um, it looks bluey on camera, but it's like a sage green with this kind of feathery embroidered design. It feels so soft. It feels so much better quality than the double gauze I've had before. Um, and it's like, let's just have a look, see if it's um, sheer or it's good. No, no, that is very, very different to the double gauze that I've had a challenge with before. It's much more like just a, a cotton. That is gonna make a really nice, I wouldn't make a dress, um, I'd wear a top or like a sort of a baggy sleeve top or something like that. Of course you could get away with what I'm wearing now, but um, oh, I really like that. Excellent, thank you, Andrea and Keris. Perhaps you will convert me from back to double goals again, because as I said, this is very different to the stuff that I've had before. So obviously we've got a Gutemann thread to match, which is, oh, isn't that a gorgeous colour? And um, so you had two colourways, you had a cream or a green. Very glad I got the green because, it's like a sea green, I think, because cream does not suit me at all. I can wear white, but I can't wear cream. So it says, your mind is a garden, your thoughts are seeds, you can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. I'm pretty good at growing weeds. Look at that picture of all the little Easter eggs on the bottom. Definitely an Easter theme, this box. Oh, amazing. Elastic. I can never have enough elastic. I don't know about you, but I've got a box of elastic, all sorts of sizes, um, various bits, and then I can never find the one I want. This is really nice, really nice quality. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've just seen that. So we had a chick, this lovely made chick, and underneath is a cream egg. My favourite, absolute favourite. Oh, I love that. Pattern pouch nest. Look, it's a little chick. Isn't that cool? Well, as I say, stuffed, um, slightly padded, and in inside was the little Cabris cream egg. Thank you very much. That won't last long. Uh, it has to go in the fridge first though. I am a person that eats cold chocolate. So all chocolate goes in the fridge and I eat it from them. I don't like warm chocolate. And that's the same for cream eggs. So he's gonna go in. I like the fact they've done the straw like a little nest as well. Brilliant cre creativity. Thank you so much. Uh, Beyond the Pink Door. Um, if you want any details about this subscription uh, box, I'll pop them in the link down below in the box down below 
but thank you very much I shall be making something there's two and a half meters of this so there's a lot I know my daughter's gonna like this as well this is her color as well so um yeah very pleased thank you very much and I will see you again soon um, on hashtag Friday sews or um, if not before thanks very much and see you soon bye